couple of headlines I want to share with you in front of this beautiful image, courtesy of America's Mattress Live Tower Cam. Clear, quiet tonight. Not much going on. Not much going on today. Uh, we'll see some clouds tomorrow. That's going to be courtesy of a southern tracking storm system uh, that will influence even our central mountain zones. But for us, uh, just the added cloud coverage, increasing temperatures. Uh, we do have this warming trend moving forward from today all the way through the weekend and into next week. So that's the great news there. We're finally going to feel. We're finally going to look a lot like how spring should for this time of the year. And here we are pushing uh, into not quite, but into the middle of April. Uh, fantastic conditions up at Powderhorn Mountain Resort. Uh, we had uh, what do we have? Telluride closed, Sunlight closed, Crested Butte closed, uh, Powderhorn this weekend closing. So yeah, it's starting to drop off and these are the great conditions with the sunshine. So getting out and playing, uh, whether it's in the high country at the resorts or even just snowmobiling around, it's going to be fantastic. One thing I will say about all this snow coverage is I don't know uh, how long Long the ice fishing is going to go. I think it's going to have a quite a long season, but be careful. Uh, that's your gig. If you know, uh, no pun intended. Is it gig that you use when you fish? Anyways, let's talk temperatures for a moment down low. Here we are near 50 degrees. Uh, we have our sunset right around uh, 740 tonight, so we're not nearly done with the heat of the day, but uh, uh, these numbers are coming up so far. Montrose could get to the 50 degree mark official. We'll see how that plays out. But for the most part, uh, this is exactly where we anticipated to be. We're going to move forward. We're going to build on these numbers compared to tomorrow. Uh, they are slightly warmer. In fact, there's a significant jump, uh, almost 10 degrees in some instances. So we're not setting records, but we are readjusting. Everybody's getting themselves right back to where they need to be for this time of the year. So we'll finish our work week on a positive note. Partly cloudy skies, dry, not a whole lot of wind in the forecast tomorrow or through the weekend. Uh, we'll see that wind returning late next week because we have another storm system that's going to influence the region, but it's going to do a couple of things. It'll kick up our wind speeds after Wednesday, and it'll also keep that warm air coming in so we could see some of our warmest temperatures of this forecast period for the middle of next week. Right now, wind speeds as expected a little on the light side. Top wind gusts. Don't even want to say the word gust when we're talking about winds that couldn't even get past the 10 mile per hour zone, barely in the uh, Tri-County area. 16 miles per hour for rifle. If you are driving around, just uh, just know moving forward through this weekend, a lot of people are going to be on the roadways. It's not just cars. Now we have motorcycles, we have bicyclists, we have joggers. We have a lot more people, a lot more of the population exercising their right to be out and about. So please do your part. I'm not telling you what to do, but I mean, Look twice and then look a third time just to make sure. No surprises here on radar. We're sweeping clear. Uh, we will be tracking, like I said, we will be tracking some storms coming into the southern zones uh, late tomorrow, and they'll probably pulse up into the central along the divide region. We may even see some spillover towards the Crested Butte area. So just keep that in mind if you're going to head into the backcountry. Uh, we are getting dry air in, but that's just a tweak, a, a little bit of um, uh, a wiggle of energy moving in from the south. So I don't expect much from it. Like I said, we're going to to remain dry. We really don't have much in our short term forecast. There's that cloud coverage. There's some of the storms I was talking about. Again, not a whole lot of coverage, certainly not widespread coverage. So if that's where you're going to be tomorrow, expect some cloud coverage. If you're not going to be there, uh, grab a hat, grab some sunblock, make sure you have your sunglasses moving forward. Uh, we really don't anticipate storms. So uh, storm watch probably won't get engaged until the middle of next week. And then we could be looking at winter weather advisories. In the meantime, uh, red flag warnings on the eastern plains. Uh, we're probably going to be hearing about uh, wildfire issues there. We have plenty of moisture for the rest of the state. That just happens to be one part of the state, uh, the Arkansas River Valley. That's one part of the state that hasn't quite hit uh, a fairly significant snowpack. So a little bit dry there. Uh, recapping tonight, mostly clear, quiet and cool. Getting into tomorrow, uh, still mostly sunny. Uh, we don't have a whole lot to worry about. There's that scattered outlook, probably even some snow showers coming down into the front range, but only briefly. If you're heading to Denver this weekend for whatever, uh, just be mindful of heading up and over the passes. You get that direct sunlight, you get a little bit of melt, and you get that road that could freeze later at night with all that runoff. So just, again, just be mindful of icy spots once you get into those turns, once you get into the shade, and once the sun goes down. And by Saturday, again, mostly clear, a few clouds moving through, but warmer. We're going to continue with this warming trend. Take a look at what Saturday looks like. Upper 60s compared to the middle 60s on Friday for Grand Junction. We'll call it mild, but this is right where we need to be for this time of the year. So this is something uh, rather enjoyable. Getting outside this weekend, sure, that's the order of business near 70 degrees. Uh, yeah, your eyes do not deceive you. Those are 80 degree readings for the middle of next week. Also, some of our clearer skies and nicest conditions starting next week. So just uh, know that southwest flow will kick in before the middle of next week. And that 
that'll introduce the breezier and the warmest conditions. Uh, but aside from all that, this weekend, things are looking very good.